Hello everybody, this is Tracy Markley from Tracy's Personal Training, Pilates and Yoga Studio, also the author of nine books and the author of the Stroke Recovery Training Course, CEC, CEC course at the Functional Aging Institute website. I wanted to come to you guys today and talk about our neuro system and our neuro patterns we use daily. And to give you guys a challenge that may help you in a time in your life when something a misfortune happened to your body, you have an injury, you have surgery, you have a stroke, something happens where you can't use your certain normal pattern. For instance, tying your shoes. For instance, writing with your right hand when you're right-hander, but you hurt your right hand, so you have to rely on your left hand. So what I want to challenge you with is, and I th this just sounds like a great idea to me, um, when I was younger, I remember one of my girlfriends had, she wrote with her left hand and she broke her arm. So she had to sit in school and write with her right hand. And I kept thinking, wow, if I always, pra I'm right-handed, if I always practice writing with my left hand, if something happens with my right arm or hand, at least I'll be ahead of the game and it would help me. So things like we put on our shoes, we put on our socks, we put on our right shoe, then our left shoe, or some pattern we do, we don't even pay attention to, but we probably do it the exact same way every single day subconsciously. Okay, switch it up. Pay attention when you put your, your, maybe you're putting on your tennis shoes, you're gonna go work out or whatever you're gonna do. Pay attention how you put your shoes and socks on. Is it sock shoe, sock, sock, shoe, shoe? Both socks, both shoes, and tie them both. However, see your normal pattern you do just not thinking and then change it. So maybe put one sock on, one shoe on, tie the shoe. One sock, one shoe, tie the shoe. Or if you notice you always tie your right shoe before your left, do your left foot first. So change your patterns you do in some everyday activities that you subconsciously just have this pattern. So your, your brain is always doing same, 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 same. All of a sudden something happens to your brain or an injury or something is, like I said before, you've had a stroke or you hurt your arm. Now you have to make your brain focus on a pattern over here and you can't do it as well. You can write subconsciously with your eyes closed, right? You can do everything with your dominant hand you write with, whether you're right or left. But if something happens with that hand, now you're relying on the other one and you have to focus on the movement. And if, for instance, I work with stroke survivors. If you have a stroke and now you can't use your right hand and your right hand and your left has to do everything, it's going to be harder to train that opposite arm the non-affected arm, it's never done anything before, and now it has to do it from the beginning. But if it has some of those patterns in there because you've done it, I'm not saying it's guaranteed, but it may help your brain catch on quicker to get this hand to take on some activities for you as you're working on this arm. Now, all brain injuries are different and may not work for every situation, but if this hand has always done something that you, this hand does and this hand's not working anymore, you don't have, you'll have more of a challenge, more of a chance of the pattern here being stronger for you. Is that making sense? So try that in your everyday things. You know, maybe try eating with, with your, if you're left-handed, you're always eating left hand with your fork or your spoon. Sometimes take your right hand and do it or the opposite. Whatever you are, do the opposite. If you're right-handed, do things with your left. If you're left-handed, do things with your right. And put your shoes on differently. Maybe if you always brush your teeth a certain way, maybe do it different. Shift, shift up different patterns of your everyday things you do. It will be a good brain challenge. It will make you more present in the moment because we all are so all over the place in our life, especially the last few years, everything's so crazy. Um, and just how life happens too. We're always kind of there, but we're not there. But if you focus on changing a pattern that will make you aware in the moment, when I work with my stroke survivors, they have to be completely aware in the moment to make this arm try to move if it's the brain's not wanting to move after a stroke. It has to be super, super focused in the moment. So that's my challenge for everyone. Start changing your little patterns, switch things up. Um, you know, we might find other things pop up when you do that too. So anyway, there you go. Again, this is Tracy Markley with Tracy's Personal Training Pilates and Yoga Studio. 
And you guys all who know me, my website's www.tracymarkley.com, Terry C Y M A R K L E Y dot com. Um, you can Google me. I'm on Amazon um, as well with my books. Try these things. It could be fun as well. And have a great day.